In the first part of this video, we use sock and toe to find missing lengths. We're now going to look at one more example that just has a little twist when we're rearranging to get the final answer. Give this one a go yourself, but just be careful, the rearranging will be a little bit different this time. Pause the video, work out the answer, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get 653 metres? Keep watching for the explanation, or click here to skip ahead. So start by labelling the sides. This one is the adjacent because it is next to the 40 degree angle. And this one is the hypotenuse because it is the longest side and is across from the right angle. So this gives us A and H. So we're going to use the cap. The cos angle is adjacent to the hypotenuse and we substitute in our numbers so we get cos 40 equals 500 divided by x. Now for the rearranging. Multiply both sides by x, and so these x's cancel. Divide by cos 40 on both sides, and they cancel. So we get x equals 500 divided by cos 40. So all that rearranging, and we just end up with the x and the cos 40 switching places. So type into your calculator 500 divided by cos 40, and you get x equals 652.7. So x is 653 metres. So give this question a go yourself. Pause the video, work out the answer, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get 7 metres? Here's the working. So from this two-part video, you should be able to find a missing side when you already have a side and an angle. You just need to use Sokotoa and make sure you label the sides correctly. In the next video, we're going to look at how to find a missing angle when we already have two sides. We still use Sokotoa and then there's just a little twist.